good morning uh, this is a demo session for openshift trainee working as a senior system engineer in ibm with a role in devops engineer i'm having a total experience of four plus years in the areas of devops build and release software configuration management and public cloud services uh, i have uh, experience of three plus years in uh, openshift and apart from openshift i have also worked in other to devops tools like git jenkins docker ansible and aws and the scope of the demo is uh, we we will uh, introduce the container technology and uh, learn the basics of it so this is the course outline and uh, of the whole openshift course with the we'll start with the container technology today and its basics so first we are going to the fundamentals of the containers kubernetes and the openshift and first we today we'll have the introduction to container technology generally software applications are deployed as a single set of libraries and configuration files to a runtime environment they are deployed to a operating system with the set of services running and this can be also uh, also deployed to any environment that provide the same services such as like a virtual machine so to deploy a web server application or any other application we can do it in a many ways we can do it using first one we can it is uh, using a dedicated server or we can use the concept of virtualization then we can also go for cloud or the containerization so let us uh, see one by one uh, how we can do uh, deploy a application so first let us go to the dedicated server what is a dedicated server actually it is nothing but a bare metal it is just like your uh, it is a physical machine so first let us consider a bare metal with the specifications of a 32 gb ram then 500 gb hard drive and one a network in a network connected nic card with a public ip because we need a a public ip so that we can connect with the users around the world they can communicate to your application so we need that then four cpus now on this bare metal i'll be installing the os for example here i have installed the cent os as my operating system so now we have our uh, bare metal we have our uh, os installed on this os we will create a repository and we will run our httpd command and install apache for for our application now uh, once the apache is installed i will put all of my uh, data of my website in the document row and after that i will i will config, configure my uh, configure the the configuration file finally uh, you can just start your service or your application once all the configurations and installations is done right so whenever user makes a request uh, your apache will be giving this response so that is how a uh, application is deployed in your dedicated server but in this method also or in this process also we have few problems that we have been facing in this uh, process so let us see uh, the problems which we are facing one by one the main main major drawback of this uh, uh, process is that any updates or any patches that are applied to your os that is your base os um might break the application there is a chance of that your uh, application can go down for example if you are updating your cent os right uh, now as of now the apache is using a library of 1.2 after your update or during your update your library 1.2 got updated to some library 1.4 or anything so in during this update this uh, library 1.2 got updated and now what happens to your apache service what happens to your application see in this process like uh, if, if if the uh, library got updated only if your application is compatible with those libraries then only it is going to work otherwise your application will go down so this is the major drawback of this process and we also uh, how will we know about this change like we we don't know what all the changes that might happen when we are updating the uh, os see there are also a chance that any dependency on the system that is being used by your apache 
is uh, can also be updated so that in that case also your apache would crash so that is one major problem and coming to the second problem like one application libraries may affect another application that is the second application li libraries uh, let us say uh, if we if we install if we want to install another application like mysql okay and mysql requ requires a library 1.6 but that is that we cannot do because we cannot install two different versions of the same library in os so that is not possible that means we cannot do we cannot install any other application on your uh, dedicated server too and okay let us see the uh, one more problem that is okay for example uh, if you, there is a requirement for you to install any microsoft application like ias web server we cannot install this uh, because this is a linux based system as i told you we have installed centos as our os since this is a linux based system we cannot install a microsoft application so we are using an apache servers of only 8 gb but the uh, the remaining space the 24 gb is of waste only we are not doing any other uh, activities that that we are supposed to do or we can do so these are the problems we are facing when we are using on the dedicated server and uh, the the solution to these problems uh, is is by using the concept of virtualization let us see that here in virtualization we are using the same kind of uh, bare metal i have uh, i have taken the same example with the same specifications and everything but here on the bare metal we are installing our hi hypervisor hypervisor is nothing but it is a program to run and manage one or more virtual virtual machines on your computer so we have and we have two types of hypervisors one is uh, that you install your on your os and the other one is that you install directly on your bare metal so for example here i have uh, installed hypervisor as my as kvm i have installed the kvm hypervisor so with this help of hypervisor i will be installing two virtual machines vm1 and vm2 on vm1 i will install centos as my operating system and uh, on the virtual machine 2 i will be installing windows as my operating system so here we have two different virtual machines and in vm1 as a as per our requirement we want to deploy a application we will be installing apache which is having a library 1.2 so here we are doing our own job like we are deploying an application and we also wanted to another do another activities like we have or we wanted to install ias web server we can do that as well so here the what all the activities what all the things we wanted to do we can do it in a separate way like isolated here with the help of this hypervisor i can give resources to my uh, virtual machine too i can give virtual ram virtual mic virtual disk virtual cpu like this i can share i can give the individual resources to my uh, virtual machines as well the applications or this process which are running in the virtual machines that we are see uh, that we have seen here cannot see or what all the resources that i have on my bare metal because the hypervisor here is doing the job of um, isolating and it is abstracting the bare metal resources this is actually the concept of virtualization but we also do have pro problems in this concept also so what are the problems here we are facing the the problems we have discussed previously in when we are updating this uh, centos the same thing happens here also and this problem is not solved in the concept of virtualization even when we want to install mysql also uh, we cannot do because because of the library dependencies the only problem here we have solved is the ias web server this application installation we can do it because the because of the multiple os on the same bare metal now we have seen here the utilization of the resources is appropriate only this problem is solved here and the rest of the problems are still there
so with the with these two problems if you want to continue then we will go we have to go for uh, another approach that is uh, containerization so let us see the cloud actually is a, is same as a virtualization because uh, we here also we will be using uh, if you want to install if we have want to have a virtual machine or ec2 instance we will just go to the aws console and we will uh, we will give all the requirements what all we want and then um, in the back end this request is taken and uh, it is creating a virtual machine on the bare metal and we they are providing your ec2 instance so it is nothing but it is a concept of virtualization here so let us go to the containerization how these problems are solved here containerization is a way to run an application containers is a way to run an application including all of its dependencies in a way that is isolated from the host operating system it is just like your smartphone or your mobile phone because if you install an application from your app, app store and you just run it it is like that it is just to run a ready to run package and it contains all of it which is required for an application to run containers also use libraries but all these libraries are not included in the container so the problems we have discussed before will no longer be a issue because uh, everything that is needed to run a container is contained within the package and so you have one older version of the library of uh, of a container and you have another newer version of the library or in the other container they will they will not be causing any difficulty to your application and the application will run smoothly too see for example we, we will see the example of these how these problems are solved here let us take uh, the same approach here we have uh, taken the uh, same your bay metal and we have installed docker that is the docker engine on your uh, uh, OS OS is a CentOS. I have installed CentOS as my OS and with the Linux kernel. And here, I have taken two containers. Container one, I have uh, given as uh, uh, Apache process. I have taken and container two, I have taken the MySQL process. For container one to uh, install the Apache process, we can just go to the we can go to your hub.docker.com. Here we will have all kind of the lightweight container images. So we can just go here and we can click for HTTPD. Yeah, so you can see here the image. And if you click on the official images, we'll get the official images of the particular image what you want to. So you can just install this like this. Like this, how we can install it. I will clearly explain when we go to the basics of the Docker. Like that, I have installed my Apache service here. And likewise, I have installed my MySQL service here. This Apache service is having a library 1. Point, is using library 1.2, whereas this is using library 1.6. These containers are isolated from each other. And these two are running as process on my bare metal. And also, they are also having their own process inside their uh, containers. Both these containers have uh, virtual MIC in them. And if they're on the same network, we can connect with the one container to the other con container. Now, if we update, now, now let us discuss what are the problems that we have faced before and how we are solving it here. Now, if we update the CentOS, Library 1.2 gets upgraded to library 1.6 or 1.8, whatever it might be, it doesn't matter because containers are completely isolated from each other as well as from the base OS also. So it is there, there is isolation between each container to container and it, there is also isolation between your base OS. So the problem here is solved. And if we if we can also install here mysql see we can on, install the mysql and the with even if it is having a different library it is it doesn't matter because the because of the isolation here we we, we can we can install any other process and we can do uh, other activities too 
but the ma major difference between the virtualization and containerization is virtualization in in virtualization we use virtual machine which has have its own individual resources whereas containers have or shares the resources between the containers it is like vms have their own individual we have seen here right here the share, uh, individual resources the hypervisor gives the resources to virtual machines but whereas here in the containers we will be uh, sharing the resources that is how the problems we have uh, solved from the traditional uh, process to the containers here you can see the uh, how the library is being used here and how it is clearly isolated from uh, container 1 to container 2 so the, uh, these are the problems that we have solved and that is why we are moving to the container technology. The, so the, let us see the advantages of uh, containers. The main advantage is like, and as we, we have already discussed, it is a uh, environment isolation. It, is, it works in a closed environment where changes made to the host OS or other applications do not affect the container because the libraries are uh, needed by a container are self-contained it is within the container and the application can run without any difficulty for example uh, each application can exist in its own own container with uh, with its own libraries own set of libraries like we have seen apache with its own uh, library 1.2 and mysql with its own 1.6 so any update if you have done to the container it does not affect the other container and it we we, we can proceed with our own application and uh, the, uh, we have another uh, advantage that is the quick deployment here if we deploy any container, it, it easily deploys the container quickly because there is no need to uh, no need for us to restart or install uh, full OS. Normally, to support isolation, a new OS installation is required on a physical host or a virtual machine. Any simple uh, update that might require a full OS restart, but here in this case, a container only requires a restart without stopping any of the resource any of the other services so this will not con uh, this will not affect the other services on your host os then we have multiple uh, environment deployment in a in a deployment any deployment scenario using a single host any environment uh, differences can break your application but using containers the all these differences all these uh, incompatibilities all these can be reduced because we are using the same container Im image is used e even if you are having the different environment like of a dev environment si environment or prod environment we can be using the same container image so it does not have any other differences and reusability this is also a major advantage of the container containers because the same container can be used by multiple applications without the need to set up a full OS. For example, uh, if we are using a database as a one container, the, this database container used to create a tables uh, for any software application. And it can be easily recreated for e even if the environment is changed. And it, if we don't want it, so it can be easily destroyed as well. Even if this uh, production environment also, we can easily uh, use this uh, container image and we can deploy the application. So that is how we, uh, we have the advantages of the containers 